Dine and Dash a pair who left restaurants without paying bills worth $1,300 are jailed. A couple who left a number of restaurants in the South Wales area without paying bills totaling more than $1,300 have been jailed. Ann McDonough, 39 years old, and Bernard McDonough, 41 years old, previously pleaded guilty to five counts of fraud. Ann McDonough also admitted four counts of theft and one count of obstructing or resisting a constable in the execution of duty. The pair, from the Sandfields area of Port Talbot, were sentenced at Swansea Crown Court on Wednesday. She was handed a 12-month prison sentence, while he was jailed for eight months. Newly opened restaurant Bella Chow in Swansea alleged in a Facebook post that a family left the premises without paying their $417 bill. The post was shared thousands of times on social media. Several other restaurants in the South Wales area also posted about similar experiences, including River House and La Casona. A previous court hearing heard the unpaid bills totaled $1,482 across five restaurants. Judge Paul Thomas Casey said the defendants had have set out on a deliberate course of sustained dishonesty. You would cynically and brazenly leave without paying. You would order the most expensive items on the menu such as steaks, even for your children who did not eat them, in the full knowledge that you had no intention of paying for them, he said. He said the pair had a, a well-drilled and tested method for avoiding paying and had exploited their children. You'd obviously coach them in advance to run away when you'd left them behind as some form of security, he said. The judge described it as a criminality for criminality's sake. Apart from the greed element, you each got a buzz from what you were able to get away with. He said the kind of losses the restaurants faced were not easily absorbed in the current climate. He concluded that Ms. McDonough was the leading figure in this spate of offending and was a fluent and practiced liar. On one occasion, on April 19, they attended Bella Chow Restaurant in Swansea. And McDonough's payment method was declined and she left to get cash, leaving her son at the restaurant before he left a short while later. The boy received a call and said words to the effect of, Oh no. Really? I'll be there now, said Jayovan Cangelosi, owner of Bella Chow. The business's Swansea branch had only been open a few weeks at the time and he said business had at that point been slow and difficult. Our restaurant has always been a laid-back, relaxing place for people to attend and I want that to stay the same. We thought about spending more money on our security, but this comes at a great cost," he added. Mr. Cangelosi said he was confused and upset as to why they do this. The court heard Bernard McDonough had 27 previous convictions for 40 offenses, while in McDonough had 18 previous convictions for 36 offenses.